Hey guys, it's me for the second of today's videos. As this plays out, the Susu migrated from the north and began settling what is now Guinea. And in the beginning of 900, as its civilizations reached the height in the 13th century, as, as the Susu made up about 20% of Guinea's population today. As the Fulani Empire dominated the country of Guinea from the 16th to the 19th century, and in 1849 the French claimed it as a protectorate, as the country was first called Rivers du Sud, as a protectorate was re requesting the French Guinea in 1895, and became a part of French West Africa, as the country of Guinea reached independence on 2nd of October, October in 1958 it became an independent state of Tore as president and under Tore the country was the first true Marxist state in Africa as diplomatic relations with France were suspended in 1965 the Soviet Union replaced in France as the country's chief source of economic and technical assistance And when the exploitation of the uh, bauxite deposits started in 1960, as prosperity came to the country and before the death of Torre, in March 1984 he was re elected for a seven year term in 1974 and again in 1981, and after 26 years of presence in the country. But a week after his death, a military regime headed by Carol Lassana Conte took power and in 1989 President Conte announced that Guinea would move to a multi-party democracy as in 1991 voters approved a new constitution whereas the President's Unity and Progress Party took almost 51% of the vote in the election of a December 1993 election and in 2001 a government referendum was passed that limited presidential term limits, thus allowing Conte to run for a third term in 2003. Despite, and despite this multi-party multi -party rule, Conte has ruled the country with an iron fist for about 24 years. That's for 20, um, 24 years. Conte ruled the country, which was criticised as corrupt, and the government demonstrators took a street in Sort of streets in January and February 2007, demanding that the president step down. The president agreed after declaring martial law as he put Lasana Coyote as prime minister. But in uh, May 2008, he was replaced by Ahmed Ahmed Tidin Soar as the Republic of. Guinea has a diverse linguistic landscape with more than 40 languages spoken across the country. And a legacy of the French rule in Guinea, as the French is a, an official language of Guinea, as there's another number of national languages like Malinke, Kisi, Toma, Fula, and Kepele. As oops. As French was the language of the colonial Guinea, it continues to enjoy official status in the independent country. And it serves as a medium of instruction in the educational institutions in the country, and it's also the language used by governments, administrations, and media. As a fuller language, is a member of the Senegal Gambian branch of the Niger Congo languages as its first language of a full people spoken and is spoken by about forty percent of the country population in the country, mainly in the towards the centre of the country. As Malinke is a language spoken by the Mandinka, an ethnic group of West Africa, as the people descendants of the Mali Empire or from in the thirteenth century under Sun Diata Keita, a powerful Manika king in Guinea. The Malinke language is spoken by about 30% of the population. 
residing in the middle again as a Susu is a Mandaya language spoken by 20% of the population and the language is spoken by the Susu people living in the country as the language is spoken primarily in the country's coastal areas. The Axe is an imp- Axe has an important trade language. Yeah. And there's there's like many we can be many resources within Guinea as well, like gold, diamond, and magnesium. And it's well known for his first his per- first president, Sir Kotore, who was like one of the first to say no to France in nineteen fifty eight. As he kinda of said it's best to be poor and free than to live in opulence and be a slave. As he it's kinda of like known as the first to say no to General Charles de Gaulle in France. And back then it was kind of seen as treason going to do such a thing. And yeah, it's like it's kind of said that they kind of burnt many files and all that in their departure and all. So yeah, I'm going to say bye for now and I'll see you all later. So bye for now.